This lilac makeup is so pretty. I think the eyes really are making a statement. So if you want to know how I got this, please keep on watching this video. Fill your eyebrows and set them with a the brow glue. And so I'm quickly going to prime my eyelids. This is really important if you want like your eyeshadows to show and pop. Actually, since we're going to do lilac colors, they don't really show a lot on the skin. So you really need to make sure your eyelids are primed. For this matter, you can use any concealer or even foundation. Just apply it evenly on your eyelids. When I think of lilacs, I think of this palette. So I'm going to take this skin-like shade and set my eyelids with it. This is going to really make sure that the eyeshadow doesn't stick to your concealer and cause blotches. Instead, it's going to go on really smooth like butter and you're going to be able to blend really nicely. Now you have a clean canvas to work on. I'm going to take this lighter pink shade. I'm going to start to blend it all around my crease and my outer corner just very lightly to kind of give it a flush of color. Same thing over here, and you wanna make sure you're keeping very light pressure. The lighter pressure that you keep, the less pigmentation you're gonna develop on your eyelids. So this is exactly what you want, just a little wash of color. Now I'm gonna take this lilac shade on this flat brush. I'm gonna really try to pick up the pigment. This is why I didn't do my base first, because there's gonna be a lot of fallout. You wanna make sure that your eye look stands out. And you're going to see how easy it is. Just take it and apply it all over your eyelid. See, even with the concealer that we applied, it's not showing up too much because it's a lilac shade. It, they're really hard to develop. But this is still pretty good and we can always build it up. So I'm going to keep applying it and make sure you dab it on like this so that you don't move too much pigment around. So you see the pink shade that we applied is giving us really nice transition. And we're going to obviously blend it all together at the end. I'm going to take the same old fluffy brush and without putting any extra product on it, blending the edges out really softly with the least amount of pressure. So you can see how I'm moving my brush around and I'm holding the brush from the very end so I don't develop too much pressure. I'm going to go over it lightly and it's going to get diffused just like that. I'm literally this close to applying this shimmer all over my eyelid, but I promised myself this is going to be a matte look, so we're going to keep it matte. I'm going to add a winged eyeliner just for fun because this eye look will really come together with a cat eye wing. See, I knew lashes were going to complete this look. I'm using the Juvia's Place in the style natural volume they look really stunning you can also cut them and use them as half lash then I'll apply mascara and then you'll be really able to see this one okay i absolutely love the way my eyes have turned out i'm gonna do a little shimmer in the inner corner or maybe i should leave that for last okay let's move on to foundation i'm gonna use my elf one this is in the shade almond and i think i'm pretty tan at this moment and this is a darker shade so this will be perfect Just gonna do a little bit to see if it even matches me. Oh yeah. Yeah, perfect. That is a great, great match. Look at how beautifully it blends out. Oh my god. I love it when a drugstore makeup product turns out so good. Not like I'm saying I doubt it elf even for a moment. Bronzer, I'm going to do something different. This blush shade is kind of giving me bronzer vibe. It's the shade she's blushing and I'm going to try to use the cream side to contour my face. Let's see how that works. I know she's pigmented, but let's see. What I'm going to do is try to apply it right in the middle where I would apply my blush and bronzer. So like around here. Is it giving bronzer or anything? I think it looks really pretty though. I don't want to mess it up with another bronzing shade. So I'm just going to keep this. Oh, it looks pretty. I think this is such a versatile shade. If you don't have a bronzer, you can totally use this in the place of bronzer. Keep in mind, I'm keeping it really high and going like all up in my hairline. To like right here where I would apply my bronzer. Bronze your forehead as well. See, can you really tell I'm not wearing bronzer? For blush, I'm going to do this Rare Beauty shade Happy. I'm going to blend this with e.l.f. blush brush. This is so easy to blend. Now look at that. The blush, the bronzer. How gorgeous. You guys need to get this brush to blend out your cream products. Especially your cream blush. Don't forget your nose. For concealer, I'm doing this hourglass because a little goes a long way with this. And this is more of a lighter shade, so it's going to give me that brightening effect. 
think that's giving me such a brightening look. Whenever I wear heavier lashes or just lashes in general because I don't like to wear false lashes, but whenever I do, I make sure to apply a lot of, not a lot of, but like a lighter color of concealer so that the shadow of the eyelashes don't make me look like I have really bad dark circles, which I do, but the point is to conceal all of them. I'm gonna do a dot more on each side. And this time I'm gonna blend it with a beauty blender. Even more beautiful. Brighten up your forehead, your chin, a little bit here and here. I'm gonna blend it all with a beauty blender. I love doing this so it gives me like a chiseled jawline. Not a jawline, like a cheekbone. I love a brightened forehead. I'm gonna do a little bit more cream blush because I think this is kind of washing away before I do any sort of powder. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and set my under eyes. I find that using a beauty blender is way easier and it's like more seamless when you apply your loose powder with a beauty blender. I'm doing the side of my nose because that's where I normally get so oily. Oh my god, literally using the beauty blender for setting my whole face has turned out so beautiful. Look at that. This powder puff could never. I'm using the powder blush from the same duo she's blushing. And I'm going to apply it like high up on my cheek. And this is super pigmented. On your chin as well. This looks super cute. Let's do the same lilac shade on my under eyes. Even though I don't think it's going to show much, but it's the attention to detail, you know? See, it's not doing much, but it's there. My intrusive thoughts are trying to take over and I'm trying to apply this shimmer shade in my inner corner and let's see how that turns out. It's like a really pretty pinkish lilac. So let's see how that turns out. Like just in my inner corner. Oh, I think that kind of looks so pretty. And if you want, you can also Take it a little bit up, like that. It's super subtle, but it's there. You see, it's like these little things that make such a huge difference. I might as well do a little bit on my brow bone to kind of tie this whole look together. Okay, this might break the whole look, but I'm trying to bet everything on it that it's gonna look good. Oh, look at that. Yep, I was right. Look at this without. And then this width. Tell me that doesn't look good. Some lower lash mascara. For highlighter, I'm using Rare Beauty. I've come to realize that applying your highlighter with a smaller blending brush really gives you a controlled effect. Instead of like going in with a fluffier brush and the highlighter is like all over your cheek, this is so much better also going to do on the tip of my nose. You guys know I'm obsessed with applying my highlighter right around this part. I don't even know what it's called. Like the beginning of the bridge of my nose. Is that what it is? Okay, so for the lip combo for tonight, I used this Ulta Beauty eye pencil. It's a brown eye pencil and I used the gel tip. I had the same shade in a Rare Beauty lip liner, but I lost it on a night out and now I'm using this. So I'm going to go purchase a new one and then I'll be able to share the shade number with you. And on the lips, I just applied the Huda Beauty Sugar Baby and it looks beautiful. If you follow all the steps in this video, you will be able to do exactly the same makeup. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!